I'm Jennifer Kim Field, Vice President of Corporate Social Responsibility here at Henry Schein. And sitting alongside me is gold medalist winner, Dr. Joseph Risk from Mary Center for Maternal and Child Care, a Washington DC based humanitarian organization. And today they're being recognized particularly for their dental work, but your organization also does a lot of myriad of other things along with the services around healthcare, education, and social services. But you tell us, Dr. Risk, a little bit about your organization and the mission. So Mary Center was, uh, was founded in 1988 by uh, our founder, Miss Maria Gomez. She was a nurse working in uh, the DC area and she uh, was noticing that the, the Latin immigrants in the area were not receiving the proper you know, maternal care when they were going through their pregnancies. So she worked with uh, the DC uh, mayor and uh, the board over in the, in the city council over there to try to work out a way that they can try to help this population that was being underserved. So she started, uh, when it started, it was just kind of like an ob and you know for women's mm -hmm. health for the, the pregnancies and stuff like that. But as the years have gone on, um, it has expanded, and we've uh, are expanded our services from you know um, mental health. We have a teen outreach program. Um, we have uh, the medical side, and then we've gone to dental, and now we're doing like psychiatric stuff too. So we've we've expanded into different um, the broad spectrum of you know healthcare, trying to. Um, take a holistic approach to the health care of the community and not no longer specifically just the Latin community, that whole area that's underserved in the different wards of, uh, of Washington, D.C. Got it. And we're here live at the Henry Schein Dental National Sales Meeting in Kissimmee, Florida. And you're the dental director for Mary Center. Mm -hmm. So talk to us a little bit about specifically the dental services of Mary Center. So Mary Center is unique in its way that when you go, when you think of a community center, you think of, you know, like rushed through and not quality care and not really state of the art. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to make um, Mary Center unique in a way that uh, it had an interesting mix. Our dental founder, Dr. Richard Gesker, he came from a military background. He was in the, in the Navy and he had a dental office in the Navy. So they were really high efficiency going, you know, um, lots of discipline and things going well there. So he mixed that in with a kind of like a private practice kind of feel to it. So we have like, it's very structured, but also we have very good customer service. And um, with the way we do it, we do state of the art um, technology, digital x-rays, um, digital panographs. We have like the top of the line ADEC chairs and stuff like that. So when a patient comes in, they're surprised. Like, is this a community center or is this like a private practice? So uh, we have that great mix there. Um, and we make sure we stress every day in our morning meetings that, you know, customer service and to treat everyone who comes through our doors as, you know, the most important person in the world. Doesn't matter regardless of, you know, the patient's ability to pay. That's amazing. Yeah. And so what inspired you to go to Mary <laughs> Center? How long have you been there for? I've been there for six years. Um, I went to Temple Dental School in Philadelphia. I'm originally from Detroit. Okay. Um, so the Michigan area, a lot of people know Detroit isn't really well off. Um, it's kind of like a blue collar city. Mm -hmm. So um, after I graduated, um, Dr. Gesker kind of recruited me out of school and we went down there and I was like, oh, this is a fancy, fancy new uh, East Coast and new, new, uh, you know, new office. I'm right. gonna learn a lot here. But I was really like absorbed in this, this, this mission that was, you know, giving back to the community. Um, like when it comes to dental offices, a lot of dentists get a, a bad rap because dentists are always like, uh, people don't trust us. They're like, oh, they're just trying to get more money. You know, they're just trying, they're mm -hmm. just telling me, you know, you need a root canal on this, you need a root canal on that, or you need extra services. So right. people don't really trust dentists. But when, uh, when we, we made our model, um, we put every dentist on a salary. So it doesn't matter, you know, w what the dentist does, he's getting right. the same amount, he or she's making the same amount of money. And I think that alleviates a lot of the, the, the mental distress that the patients go through and it makes us, it gives us um, a little bit more um, trustworthiness. It's like our patients yeah. aren't used to going, coming in for dental care. Right. It's kind of, um, it can be it's scary, kind of scary, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's kind of scary so. to them, so they're they're not really used to it. So, but that's what I think is really unique about what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. Because you also provide in-home care services. Well, it's kind of like an in-home <laughs> thing. So we have our 
dental cruiser, okay. which is a, is, a, is a huge bus that has three dental chairs in it. Oh, and we cool. take it to the different communities that, um, that we serve in our areas. And then we'll go to like community health fairs. We'll go to, we do functions with the Redskins. We do all of these different things. And okay. we'll go to schools. Mm -hmm. Usually it's elementary schools and high schools right. that are in these tougher areas. Um, and then we get their information and their x-rays and we see them for exams and cleanings and fillings. But then we try to transfer them over to a dental home, like a real dental home, not just a dental cruiser. So we're like, hey, look, um, all this stuff that we took on our dental cruiser, we can transfer it over into, a, into an office which is close by you. So, um, so it's like a teaser almost, It's like right? a teaser, yeah. we're helping them get in because it's, there is a barrier of, um, of getting into dental health care. You know, a lot of people can't take days off of work to take their mm -hmm. kids. A lot of people, you know, are, you know, are kind of scared of running up a bill or going to a dentist, but right. you know, that's why it's important what we do. Um, each, each patient that we see mm -hmm. that has insurance pays for one patient that doesn't have insurance. So we uh, call this the get care to give care. So that's a really Very big cool. thing that we, you know, have in our office. And I think that um, a lot of people in the community respond to that and they resonate with that mission. And we see, we're seeing a lot of people coming in saying, you know, like I'm, I'm bringing my family and uh, we have insurance, but we just want to make sure that we're giving yeah. back. So what do you think motivates your team to want to come to work every day mm -hmm. to help serve a particularly underserved population, right? Mm -hmm. So whether they're in the mobile unit or whether they're within the various centers in DC, Maryland, and the surrounding mm -hmm. areas, what do you think is that motivation? Well, I think the motivation behind it is that we are those, we are these patients, we are the community. If you look at my team, half my assistants have been patients of mine that I've seen before. I came from a kind of like a tough area growing up. Mm -hmm. I know what it's like to have a hard time getting health care. Um, one of our doctors is actually a previous participant. Oh wow! So um, he went and you know he went to school and he became a, a dentist, and so we are composed of the community. So we don't really feel like we're giving back so much. We feel like we're taking care of our own, and it's really nice because you know that makes it more fun. It sure. makes it like it makes it yeah. you want to get up in the morning and really work because yeah. you know these are your people and these are the people like you know you, you rub elbows with and everything right. so it's a good time and uh you know we have a young like high energy uh, office we play lots of music and lots of windows and yeah. you know it's, it's a great time well i can see why you were a gold medal <laughs> winner for our henry Schein cares medal program so congratulations again how does it feel to win and what was it like to know that you were the the gold medalist. Honestly, it was really nerve wracking just being on stage here because <laughs> there is 2000 people looking at us and that was really nerve wracking, but it really feels really satisfying and it really, um, I feel validated for all the hard work that my team does and all the hard work that, um, you know, all the office managers, the assistants, the doctors that they put into this every single day. Um, community centers are tough places to work because you see like a broad spectrum of people, a broad spectrum of personalities. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's not like your run of the mill office. So, you know, I think this validates them and I think we're, I'm going to take that, that prize home and they're going to, we're going to celebrate and we're going to have a good time. With awesome. It. I'm sure there's some champagne in your future. Oh, yes, for sure. <laughs> Congratulations again, Dr. Riss, to you and your team for being the gold medal winner. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in. And we look forward to seeing you uh, join us again in the near future. Thank you.